Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, so up until this point, we really haven't actually talked about the actual file menu, the menu at the top of the library module. And this menu, along with its options, will actually change from module to module. But the reason we haven't really talked about it is because most of what we're doing inside of the library module through the interface is the exact same things that you're going to be doing through the menu system itself. Now, there are some differences, like when we need to edit preferences and stuff like that, if you don't know the shortcut, then the only way to get there is through the actual edit menu. But for the most part, if I click on the file menu, I drop this down, you'll see all of the same things that we were doing uh, you know, with exporting, with importing. It's the same exact functions that we had by clicking the buttons, uh, just broken out into a menu itself. So if at any time you guys get confused or if you guys don't know where to access something, you guys can always turn to the actual menu system. The file menu dropdown is going to have all of your uh, options as far as creating new catalogs, importing, exporting, uh, printing, doing that kind of stuff. Editing is going to be your options as far as selection, as far as uh, editing your preferences and, and different catalog settings. We're going to handle that from the edit menu. Uh, from the library menu, we're dealing with all of our different organizational features. You know, we talked about how to create new collections and stuff like that. You can do the exact same thing from here. You can set up your filtering from here, refine photos. Now, refine photos is actually something we haven't talked about yet. And what that does is it'll take all of our unmarked photos and mark them rejected. And then it's going to unmark the marked photos. So it basically refines the display to this type of workflow display if that's what you guys like. Now, I don't typically use this because I want to either have my images flagged or unflagged and not unmarked. But if you like that function, you guys can use this refine photos feature, which is available from the menu or from the shortcut if you know it. All right, so let's go back to library. Again, we see options to find missing photos, which we had previously. The other thing I wanted to go over here was that we have the option to render one-to-one -one previews from the library menu. Now, we talked about basically how we work in our workflows that we don't render previews upon import. We render them prior to actually working. So prior to uh, you know me starting uh, developing on a job, uh, I would actually go in and select render one-to-one -one previews on all my photos. This will take a bit of time, so I'd recommend doing it, like, say, during lunch when you guys go out, or maybe, uh, you know, overnight if you have thousands of images in that, in that catalog. Now, if you guys have extra plugins and stuff, you would manage those plugins as well from this library menu. Now, moving on to our photo menu, we're dealing with everything that is applied to actual photos themselves, from setting flags and ratings and different attributes, to creating virtual copies, adding them to a quick collection, deleting photos, doing all that kind of stuff is done from the actual photo menu. Moving on, we have the metadata menu, where once again, this is where we're going to have all of our options for editing metadata, editing capture times, editing keywords, and so on. And you guys will remember that we used the edit capture time in a previous tutorial to actually edit capture times and sync up images. Going on to the view menu, we have all of our options to setting up our different views and to shortcutting and moving through the different views. So from grid to loop to compare to survey, uh, toggling the loop view, zooming in, zooming out, increasing grid size moving to develop module, checking out our view options, everything regarding view is all in this menu. Now with the window menu, we're primarily dealing with switching to different modules as well as like our lights out modes, going back and forward, moving to a slideshow and adjusting panel settings. So we can actually toggle the different panels directly from here as well. Lastly, and this is kind of the most important menu item, is the help menu. And the Lightroom help as well as the shortcuts are probably the two most useful features in this menu. Lightroom help will actually take you to Adobe Online help where you can search through not only the official kind of Lightroom manual online, you can also look through the forums for people talking about common issues and things that they're having with Lightroom 4. So if you guys have any questions that you guys can't find solutions to, go to the Lightroom help or hit F1 to get there. The next thing I want to show you guys, you can get there by hitting control forward slash or command forward slash on a Mac, is the library mod uh, module shortcuts. Every module has this exact same feature. So if you're in the develop module, you hit the same shortcut or go to the help menu, and it's going to bring up the common library shortcuts. This isn't everything, but it's most of the stuff that you're going to want to use in the library module. So it's a quick reminder on how to access different things in the shortcuts, and it's divided into each different section. From viewing shortcuts, to rating, to flagging, to photo, to panel shortcuts, they're basically all of the most common shortcuts right here in this shortcut help menu. All right, guys, so just remember that from the file menu, we're basically accessing all of the same functions that we are from the different buttons and features in the library interface, but we can also see the shortcuts available from those menus, and we can also see some of the more remote and obscure functions that we might not be using so frequently when we need to edit preferences, when we need to edit capture times, stuff like that that we might not be doing frequently is going to only be available from the actual menu system.
All right, guys, so let's move on to the next tutorial.